Happy Thanksgiving Hawks, I'm Junior Parker Wolf and today I'm going to be showing you four super simple placeholders that you can make from items around or in your house that will make your Thanksgiving table look more festive. First we're going to make a turkey placeholder made with a cork. For this you're going to need an assortment of construction paper. I chose Thanksgiving colors but you can use whatever colors you want. Cardstock or construction paper that's white. Scissors. A cork. A toothpick a pen or marker, whatever color you would like, and your choice of glue. Step one is to cut your feathers. A helpful tip is to stack all your construction paper up and trace your feather so that you only have to make one cut. You should end up with something that looks like this. Now we're gonna begin assembling our placeholder. First, you wanna take your cork and toothpick and press your toothpick into the top of your cork so it looks like this. Then you want to take your feathers and begin gluing them onto the back of your cork in a fan-like pattern. Finally, we're going to make the name tag. You're going to cut out a small square from your construction paper and use your pen to write your name on it. Then you're going to take this and glue it onto the top of your toothpick. Here is your final turkey placeholder made with a cork. For the next placeholder, you're gonna need construction paper, sticks, pine, scissors, glue, and a marker or pen of your choice. First, cut out a rectangle sized piece of your construction paper and then find two sticks that fit across the bottom of it. After writing the name on the paper, glue your sticks to the front and back of the paper so it looks like this. Once you've glued your sticks to your paper, Cut off a piece of your pine about this size and glue it to the front corner of your placeholder. Here is our second finished placeholder. For your third placeholder, you'll need white construction paper, scissors, a pen or marker of your choice, and a long and thin leaf. First, you wanna cut your construction paper into a square and cut two slits into the middle of it about an inch apart so that we can slide the leaf down in between the slits like this. Next, grab your leaf and your pen so that you can write your name on the middle part. After carefully sliding your leaf down through the slits like we did with the paper, your placeholder look should look something like this. For our final placeholder, you're going to need a leaf large enough to write someone's name on it, white paint, colored paint, a thick paintbrush, and a thin paintbrush. Take your leaf and using your big paintbrush and your paint colors of choice, brush the paint on the edges of the leaves. I'm using gold and orange. Now with your painted leaf, we're going to take the white paint and our small paintbrush and paint the name in the center of the leaf. Now you're all finished with your fourth placeholder. I hope these ideas help you add some pizzazz to your holiday table. Have a great Thanksgiving and enjoy the rest of the show. Hey Hawks, it's freshman Sarah Lawson. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Thanksgiving. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on one way you can spruce up your place settings. For this video, you will need a napkin, either paper or cloth. Now let's head over to the video. Hawks, it's off my Angela Mangle Geary here today, and since Thanksgiving's coming up, I decided to ask some of the students from our school what their favorite Thanksgiving food was to eat, and this is what they said. Yeah. 
I also talked to sophomore Alyssa Dobson, and this is what she said was her favorite Thanksgiving food and why. Thanks for watching, Hawks. Now stay tuned for the rest of your news. What up, Hawks? I'm Junior Jillian Austin, here to tell you some jokes for today's Thanksgiving special. I'm again joined with my little sister, Riley. Okay, today I'll be telling Riley some more jokes, except today will be a little bit different because she'll have water in her mouth, so we'll get a real reaction. I got this inspiration from sophomore Lydia Rizcala. Okay, Riley, why did the turkey play the drums in his band? Hmm. Because he already had drumsticks. Okay, no, I guess that didn't get her. All right, Riley. Mm -hmm. I shot my first turkey today. It scared the crap out of people in the frozen food section. <laughs> okay, next joke. Pull it together. All right, Riley. What's the difference between chickens and turkeys? Mm. Chickens celebrate Thanksgiving. Mm. Okay, no. I knew she wouldn't get that one. All right. Who is not hungry at Thanksgiving? The turkey, because he's already stuffed. No. All right. If April showers bring me flowers, what do flowers bring? Drink water. Hmm? What do, if April showers bring May flowers, what do May flowers, wait. Ooh. Okay, let's just move on to the next joke. Okay, Riley. <laughs> Why didn't the pilgrims tell secrets in the cornfield? Because the corn had ears. No, I didn't think that one that was fun, that funny either. All right, last joke. What kind of music did the pilgrims like? Plymouth Rock. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching, Fox. Tune in after break for more so... jokes from yours truly. <coughs> Hey Hawks and happy Thanksgiving. I'm Junior Maddie Gill and I don't know about you, but my favorite part of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is always the Broadway performances. Now the shows that we'll be seeing in the parade this year are Mean Girls, Jagged Little Pill, Ain't Too Proud, and Hamilton. Now normally we get to watch these shows on TV as they're being seen live, but due to COVID, they have been pre-recorded this year. Now Broadway shut down back in mid-March and will continue to be shut down through May 30th of 2021. Over the past eight months and in the couple months to come, Broadway has generated zero revenue, causing thousands of actors to lose their jobs and some shows to close indefinitely. And not just in Broadway, but high schools haven't been able to perform either. I reached out to junior Ashlyn Ball and senior Caitlin Drake, who are both members of the drama club here at the high school, and got their take on the Broadway shutdown and the lack of activity for theater here at the high school. Here's what they had to say. Ashlyn said, not getting to go to New York City and see shows is hard because it's what theater kids love and it's sad because that's what we love to do. And Caitlin added, it's very difficult for theater kids in our school because we have a very strong drama club and it's so sad to not see our drama kids doing what we love to do on stage. So even small performances like the one we'll be seeing in the Macy's Parade is so nice for people who enjoy theater because it's even just a taste of what we normally get to see. So we hope you enjoy the parade and have a really happy Thanksgiving. back to the views with Addie and Maxine where we bring you the views reviews and news of your fellow Hawks. For this Thanksgiving day we asked students what their favorite traditions and memories have been of their past Thanksgivings. Let's see how freshman Angie McCain answered. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition that I do almost every year is that I run a 5k Thanksgiving morning. We've done it for seven years. I like it because it keeps me fit and right before Thanksgiving dinner and it's fun. Hey Hawks, I'm sophomore Maxine Liu. I got a chance to talk to sophomore Ashti Tawari about her past Thanksgiving experiences, and she had some really fun stories to share. So let's roll the clip. Okay, so a Thanksgiving tradition in my family is always going over to my grandparents' house, like me, my cousins, and um, we'd all meet up there because we all live pretty close together. And we've done that for as long as I can remember. And definitely a favorite memory is my cousin and I sneaking in sparkling apple juice because our parents are like, it's too sweet. So we snuck it in anyways. And um, we were filling up our cups under the table, but then I dropped my cup and then everyone found out that we did that. 
So now we just buy it and we just, we, everyone has it. But I vividly remember that because they were like, where did this come from? So that was definitely a Thanksgiving to remember. Thanks for joining us for our Thanksgiving segment, Hawks. Now let's head back to the rest of your Thanksgiving special. Thank you.